So here we are back again with the Harley Benton Big Tone in white from the Vintage series, not Vintage White, like I said in the unboxing, okay? So nice, Hardy Benton Big Tone Vintage. Nice looking guitar. Uh, you don't even have to play, you all always look like a good player with a guitar like this, in my opinion, you know. So big and shiny and gold and white and um, yeah, excellent looking guitar. And it even sounds good. But uh, you will hear it for yourself. Let's go through the specs. Thoman says construction hollow body. Yes, that's right. We got here really a full hollow body design. The only thing where we got a block of wood is under the bridge. Under the bridge is a block of wood that connects the top with the back. Okay. Um, I try to do some photos with my, you know, my smartphone in the F hole. There is a block and it looks like maple. Yeah, the whole body is maple too. I can just see the back in here and yeah, it's maple. The whole neck is maple. I cannot say how much pieces we got here. We got here a fully lacquered guitar, all white here. Rosewood fretboard again. And we got a nice looking rosewood fretboard. I'm pretty sure they will change it to Rose Acer. Again, like on the HP 35 Plus, they will change it to Rose Acer. I'm pretty sure so they can sell it worldwide again. So the people in America don't get mad. Uh, Toman will change it for sure. Don't get mad about the rosewood cities uh, um, rules, um, laws. There is a need for that and Thoman will sort it out for sure, okay? Um, let's continue with the specs. We got a full binding here. We got a, a, a snow white guitar and we got cream white binding on the neck, on the headstock and on the body, on the top of the body and even on the back of the body. So we got here two uh, bindings around the body very binding heavy guitar you can say okay and even not just the cream white binding we also got here abalone Toman doesn't say anything about it I think this is abalone binding you know rainbow colors green and and uh, purple I can see in here in yellow on the headstock too here here you can see it okay so we got double binding all around the body so it looks really like a deluxe uh, guitar uh, and I have to say it looks good. The whole guitar looks really nice. And here we are with the next point. The quality of the guitar is very good. Um, all around, everywhere. Everything looks really nice, no flaws on this. But let's continue with the specs first. 20 frets and yeah okay maybe that's a bad point they are not rounded okay they are not rounded but we got no sharp fret ends the binding is nice the frets are uh, leveled nicely we got no high fret we got no dead spots and the action this is the stock action i did nothing to this guitar the stock action is already nice i don't know what do we have here two millimeters or something something like two millimeter uh, the action and it feels really comfortable. And when I say comfortable, Toman doesn't say anything about the neck. Slightly thick C neck. Uh, maybe a little bit similar to the HP 35 Plus. This is this this red guitar here. Uh, and it's comfortable and it fits the guitar, okay? Um, you know, a super, super thick uh, neck 
on a super strat it's maybe not so but on the big guitar like this a little thicker neck is nice i think pickups two deluxe alnico double coil humbucker and you see we got here no brand name we got no not wilkinson or roswell or something no name pickups and when i ordered this guitar i thought okay hmm, yeah could be a weak point on this guitar but no no honestly no please hear for yourself I will play this guitar now a little bit. I will play the neck pickup, then both pickups, and then the bridge pickup really fast here now. Sounds nice in my opinion, I think. And um, we got a three-way switch, yeah, I, you already saw it. Uh, neck pickup, both pickups and the bridge pickup. Three volume and one tone control. Here it is how it works, okay? We got here a master volume, okay? And we got here, master volume. And we got here the volume knob for the bridge pickup and here the volume knob for the neck pickup and the tone pot for both pickups okay so you dial maybe if you if your favorite position is the middle position you dial in here with the two volume knobs the perfect sound for you and leave them alone and just use the master volume okay <laughs> That sounds nice to me. I got the neck pickup full and the bridge pickup is half up, you know. And now uh, this is a good sound for me, in my opinion now. And now I will just use the master volume. Just for example, okay? I had someone who really said he wants to hear the neck pickup and the tone pot all the way down. We will do this now. Okay, uh, the bridge pickup, tone pot all the way down. And both pickups. Okay, enough for now. Let's continue with the specs. Golden Deluxe hardware. Let's start with the tuners. We got here six golden tuners. And someone says said these tuners look like from Hextrim. Is this the brand? You know? And I have to agree, they look nice and they work nice. That's the most important point. They got no play and they don't feel like cheap tuners, I have to say. They work. 
Toman doesn't say anything about the nut again. We got here a nice slotted nut and I'm not sure about the material. Toman doesn't say anything about it. My first thought was bone? It's really white and nicely slotted and rounded. Really nice. But it could be also plastic. I'm really not sure. And I don't want to say something wrong. So I'm sorry, I cannot really say for now. Uh, but I will show you some pics, pics of it. Maybe you can guess it for yourself, okay? I'm sorry. Toman doesn't say anything about it. Uh, gold Deluxe Hardware, yes, everything is gold. Strap uh, buttons are gold too. They are, by the way, different ones than we got normally. Normally, normally we got this shape here. Uh, you know, they are shaped like this. And now we got really uh, like, a, like a mushroom, you know? Ah, I will show you some pics. And uh, Deluxe only could double coil humbucker. I already mentioned them in gold. Uh, and they sound nice, I think. We got also uh, golden pickup frames. Everything looks nice. The pickguard is acrylic. It's transparent. And I think it's a nice pickguard. It's shaped nicely. Maybe a little bit rough here where the pickups are, but otherwise it's okay. I cannot see a bad thing about it. We got a roller bridge here. These are roller saddles and tunomatic bridge. And this is not fixed. This is not a fixed bridge, okay? Um, the strings, the, the strings push the bridge against the body. If you lose the strings, if you lose them, to change them, you will lose the bridge. It will fall off. If I would push here with my thumb, again, the bridge, I would be able to, you know, uh, shift it here around. Um, so, uh, yeah, you have to really check for your intonation and keep the bridge where it is. And here's also, ah, uh, it's too bright here right now. Here's also a little fabric to pr protect the uh, top from scratches okay and we got here the 50s b style b style <laughs> uh, deluxe uh, tremolo system and it works it works and it don't go out of tune okay let me show you a little bit So for this it's nice and it don't go, it don't get out of tune, okay? We got here thicker strings, uh, I'm used to 10s and we got here 12s and uh, yeah, fits on this guitar. Let me talk about bad points. I already mentioned it um, in my Big Harley Benton order menu, uh, video, Big Harley Benton order video I think and the truss rod man this guitar looks so nice we got bindings everywhere abalone bindings and the rosewood looks nice the, everything is gold and together with the white looks so nice and then we got this sheep is off the sheep truss rod cover why 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 yo so the truss rod cover but I think that's okay for a bad point. I mean, truss rod cover, get it off. Get, uh, I don't know, PRS style or something. Uh, truss rod cover would, would fit, I think. Get something nice, something out of wood or something in gold. And excellent. Um, got no more bad points on this guitar. I mean, look at the price point, 248. And for 248, it's one of the pricier models from Harley Benton, 
but I mean, look at this guitar, look what you get here, the full hollow body construction, double binding, gold hardware, everything in gold, roller bridge, um, full block inlays, I don't know, the tuner works, the electronic is nice, uh, we, I will play it in a second more, uh, with gain and something, and uh, the tremolo works. I don't know what would you pay for original Bixby style tremolo. I don't know right now, but enough. And it works. This tremolo works, okay. And yeah, I even think the pickups sound good. I really thought they would be a weak point, but I will not make them a bad point in this video because they are not bad. They sound good. I think it's a really great sounding guitar. I don't know right now if the recording I do here right now with the guitar sounds as good as in this room because you know the sound from the cabinet mixed mix in this room is mixed with the uh, guitar sound I hear here right now. It's a loud guitar, loud and resonant. Let's hear it for a minute just uh, about the room mic, not about the cabinet, room mic, okay? Now let me mix the room mic and the cabinet mic, okay? So I hope you get an idea how it sounds here in the room, it sounds really nice, everything here, everywhere sound and um, it's a very easy to play guitar, the stock setup was already nice, we got here a low action, it's a balanced guitar again, Harley Benton seems, it seems they really care for balanced guitar, I got here almost no guitar, one bass was not balanced, but the guitars, always balanced. Let me show you this in a second on a strap. So, haha, can you see me? Mm. Oh, man, this looks good. You cannot see my head finally, my face for a second, which is not a bad thing sometimes, especially while playing. That's it, I think. If you got questions about the guitar, please in the comments below. I hope I didn't forget here anything. I can really recommend it. Uh, the quality is really, really good. Just, you know, this cheap plastic shit here. Uh, get rid of it and you are good to go. And I will stop the talking now and that's it. Have a nice day. Please like, share, subscribe, come in my Tom and Harley Benton support group, uh, my Facebook group. The link is in the description below. And um, yeah, have a nice day. Bye bye.
Pod again, all the way rolled down. Okay, let's activate the vintage overdrive. not the style of guitar for this but more distortion <laughs> Thank you. 
pick up tone pot almost all the way down. 